Welcome to the Pinman. Da, da, da. Okay, here you go. What is our guest for today? Today we have the Schaefer Cigari. What is a Cigari? A Cigari was a weapon used in medieval times. It. I'll put a picture up there. That is not me holding that, but. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of axe on one side, a pick on the other, and even on the end of the handle, there, uh, the bottom uh, opposite end of the handle is a pointed area to, for, as a weapon to be used, maybe backhanded, like you hit somebody in the head with the one end and backhand them with the other, I don't know. But uh, yeah, apparently they were uh, pretty vicious. They were, they were small and light easy to wield, like if you just had a, a shield or uh, other small weapon, it was right there and um, could do the do the trick. Uh, I, I wondered kind of why in the world did they name a pin after, after a weapon like that? And uh, it occurred to me that saying the pin is mightier than the sword. So, so true. Okay. Parts of the pin Come up a little close there. You have the cap finial. It's a kind of a flat, flattish type of, it's a slightly smooth around the corners there, like that. And um, then the, it's got the uh, whatever, titanium gray enamel of like that. And then there you have the clip. The clip is will hold well on any pocket. So uh, they did a good thing there. Then of course you have the Schaefer uh, dot at the top. The band simply says Schaefer there on the front and Schaefer there on the back. That's it. Okay. The uh, body finial is same as the cap. Uh, flats. Just slightly, slightly uh, rounded, but smooth on the edges there. The cap and body has these grooves on the body, uh, just a small part there on, or small part, just see a smooth part there on the end, and then on the cap, just the same grooves. And it only gets smooth like that real thin line there next next to the band. And uh, you you can it's, you can feel the texture there, but you don't really notice it when you're when you're riding with it. The it is a cartridge converter pin. It comes with the converter. And. Uh, Downside is that it's a proprietary cartridge, Schaefer proprietary, and um, there we go, fits right in there. Uh, thankfully, the good news is that they supply a cartridge with or converter with this pen. I don't believe it came with a cartridge. I could be wrong about that, but the uh, cap, or excuse me, the grip is a injection molded plastic. Let's see if you can see the line. You can kind of see a line right in there. It goes across. Yeah. Okay, so there's your injection mold. The nib is a, it's, you know, it's a small nib, about a, a Number five, perhaps number four, just says Schaefer across the front, medium, or the M is for medium, and then it has the little uh, sunbeams there on the nib. And then there's your feed. It's got the two channels on the back there. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Again, it, it is a snap cap, and it Goes smoothly right toward the end. It's a little tight, but not too bad. Okay. 
There you go. All righty. So this is a this is a comfortable pin, even though it's kind of light, yeah, a little bit smaller than what I would uh, prefer. Uh, typically than what I uh, tend to get uh, buy when I buy a fountain pen but uh, this looked kind of nice so I went with this pen kind of getting bad light in there I should probably shift around but anyway there you go the uh, it does post and it posts securely oh my goodness this is terrible Okay, there you go. It does post securely. It's not going to come off, and I don't. I wouldn't worry about it even scratching the bands. It's like a plastic insert in there. Okay, so how about some size comparisons? Okay, here's some size comparisons. You have the. Oh my goodness gracious! How about that? That might work. Put a little sunblock up there. Alright, so you have the uh, Schaefer Sigari, and then you have the Schaefer Intensity, Lamy Safari, Twisby Eco, and on the other side, some pins a little bit closer to, to the Sigari size. You have the Pilot Metropolitan, it's a little bit bigger, and the Diplomat Traveler. Now, the, the Traveler and the Sigari are both smaller than what I like. But, as I mentioned earlier, um, because of the metal uh, material that it's made out of, uh, that extra weight kind of offsets the downside of the uh, smallness of the pen, the smallness of the girth of the pen, and so forth. So. Um, so those, those are pretty good. But that will give you kind of an idea of where it is as far as size of pins. And here they are uncapped. As you can see, all of these pins have these small nibs. A lot different than... So I have a... Uh, this is a Diplomat. Excellence A, and obviously there's a big difference in the size of, of the nib. I'll go down here to his, the other diplomat. A lot different, a lot different. Okay, and here they are posted. Obviously, big differences. And now for a writing sample, we have the. Schaefer, Sigari, again it's titanium gray, medium, I have it inked with diamond, this isn't shaking too much. Lays orange and is a smooth, especially if you don't put any pressure on it. I'm hardly putting any pressure. Very smooth nib, only just a very, uh, just a slight bit of feedback. Uh, there's no, no scratchiness either angle, even up and down. Uh, obviously, upstroke is a little bit more, but just a little bit of feedback, but not bad at all. Reverse writing does a very good job. Reverse writing again, not not too uh, too much feedback. There you go. A little bit more than uh, writing regular, but not too bad at all. Uh, can you get some line variation from this? You can get some. Let's see. 
Oh, not too bad. I'm, <laughs> I'm not real good at uh, calligraphy. Uh, one of these days I'm going to take some lessons or whatever. But anyway, there's my go at fancy, fancy writing. Okay. Uh, how, what do I think about this pen? I, I like this pen. I think if I used this pen, um, besides just uh, for uh, you know the sample, and uh, you know I was writing with this for a little while before I did the re did this review. But uh, I think I would use it. For instance, when I have my pens in use, I usually have about five pens in use at one time. Uh, I would probably try to use it with the Traveler uh, and maybe the Metro, uh, just some other uh, smaller pens, just so I don't see that much of a difference when I'm writing. But yeah, I, I like this pen. And, and again, you can pick them up for an inexpensive price. I know uh, when I did the review on the Schaefer Intensity, uh, I got some comments from people that really like the Schaefer product, and so, uh, yeah, for, you know, 30, uh, 40, maybe, you know, under $50, uh, you can get a, you can get a good uh, writing pen, uh, nice, nice in hand, kind of average, uh, and all that, but um, good feel. So, there you have it, the Schaefer. Cigari, so go wield that pen and make an impact on the world in a good way.